Hey Google, turn it up. It's already at the highest volume. myself a little bit just now so uh, hold on guys just setting up everything be with you in uh, just a minute Detroit's a subscriber. You can never do enough of those movies. I got a surprise for you guys when you're live. I'm dressed, I'm dressed in a, and you guys are gonna get a, a kick out of, uh, well, I won't ruin the surprise. Dressed as Santa Claus. I just have Santa Claus. I'm the Santa Claus for pitches. Pitchy, pitchy Santa Claus. Pitchy's my reindeer. She's got a red nose. Pitchy's Rudolph. Pitchy's a red nose reindeer. You make like a tree and leave. <laughs> Sorry. 
I don't know why that is. My apologies, I don't understand. Continue on, continue on. As you were, as you were. Hey Google, are we going to have a great glass today or what? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Go to hell. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Mr. Mr. G. Get it right, asshole. Hey Google. I love you. Oh, wow. If you love me, you must it. think I'm really helpful. Hot Best day ever. Minutes left. Detroit, Michigan, me. That's it. L O L, Mr. G. Hey, Google. What'd you get me for Christmas? I'm giving you a very special gift this year a direct line to North Pole. Just ask me what's happening at the North Pole. What's happening at the North Pole? I put. So, you can say we it's the G. It's the North Pole News Cast, and I'm your host, Google Sticks. We're officially two weeks away from Christmas. Today's headline Santa Tractor gears up to follow the big guy around the world on Christmas Eve. They have their work cut out for them. Santa is hard to keep up with, especially at the dinner table. That's a Santa joke. In the meantime, you can play some fun games over at Santa Tracker. Oh, Peachy's in the class! Yay! We got a special guest, and honey, Miss Peach. She's great. She's cool. She's a princess goodie. Yash! Hey, Google. Play that Mr. G shit. Sure. Asking Pandora to play some music. Hey, Googie. Hey, Googie. All right, sir. Here we go. I pulled myself, Googie. Hey, Peachy. I love you. Hi. Nice. How yeah, can I help? Peachy, Peachy, Peachy. Help Mr. G with the donation through Extreme Elements. Peachy, I don't understand. Slash Extreme Elements. Peachy, 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 Peachy. Slash Extreme Elements. 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 Slash
Irish teacher on IRL stream. He's Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G. He's your Irish teacher on IRL stream. Mr. G, 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 Hi, I'm Mr. G. Welcome to my class. Merry Christmas. Hey, Google. Dampalumden. Sit. Doc the Bounty Hunter. Volume 2. Play Boat Bay Boat Haven. I understood. I'm the Christmas Baseball Cabin. Is that right? I'm the Christmas Kitty. Hey, Google. Play Mozart. Same thing. Playing Wolfgang hey, on everybody. Mozart on Pandora. I hope you're having a great day today. Mr. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Google, volume four. Uh, today is Aloha Friday, as every Friday is in Hawaii. And uh, today we're going to be learning about the great state of Arkansas. So, shout out to special viewer. This stream is dedicated to... Super Roofer, a.k.a. M-A-R-K. So thank you very much, M-A-R-K. I don't know if you're watching or not. I have some nice uh, Arkansas Razorback printouts. Uh, over here we have uh, the uh, famous uh, fried pie of Arkansas. They love their fried pies, as Hawaii does as well. Um, but as well, um, we're going to learn a lot of things about Arkansas. Uh, they have a lot of great food, uh, not just fried pies, also fried catfish, uh, baked beans, fried okra. I have a bunch of okra planted right now. I need to transfer into a bigger pot. Ha 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 ha! Chocolate gravy. Oh, magnificent. Um, they have a good, uh, they have a, a strong French influence, believe it or well. Believe strong it or not. Michigan, me. Un Other than Louisiana, I was homeless in Arkansas. Lived on a bridge out there. Really? Wow. Detroit, Michigan, me. Ted. No joke. Awesome story, Detroit. Um, we I have some images of some bridges coming up in the next hour. Chris J. Themer made. Ted. Is chocolate gravy like fondue? Uh, hey Google, what is chocolate gravy? Chocolate gravy is a variety of gravy made with fat, flour, cocoa, and amounts of sugar. This variety is more like a chocolate mountain. Served as a Sunday morning dish with fresh biscuits in the Ozark and Appalachian Mountain regions. Hey Google, volume 10. Hey Google, what is chocolate gravy? According to Wikipedia, chocolate gravy is a variety of gravy made with fat, flour, cocoa powder, and varying amounts of sugar. Mm. This variety is more common in cuisine of the southern United States and is most often served as a Sunday morning Mr. dish with fresh made. biscuits in the Ozark and Appalachian so, Mountain regions. Fat. So. And cocoa. Uh, yeah. Um, hey, Google. Volume 2. Uh, I have all those ingredients in my cupboard now. Uh, maybe I'll make some chocolate gravy coming up. Cody, um, 804. Hey, Cody. So, I don't like regular gravy much, but I'd try that. Yeah, that does sound Detroit, good. Detroit, Michigan, me. To my Alexa went off when you said good strange LOL. Detroit, right. Michigan, me. To Google. O underscore T underscore So, underscore. guys, um. To hey, Mr. G. I hey. To you can send hey, OT, boxes Aloha. and Keanu packages to 1170. You hear, uh, Still so Corner's new album? Honolulu, Hawaii, it's real 96823. good. Um, so guys, as far as we're talking about foods a little bit, they're, they're known for their, uh, fried the pies. Your pop champ, check it out. 
HTTP now, I don't know much about chocolate gravy, uh, but I do know that Hawaii has lots of fried pies. Uh, every bakery here uh, has lots of fried pies. Uh, there's a place called Zippy's. Uh, there's a place called Zippy's that has really good fried pies, and that's kind of a tradition here in Hawaii. Um, I noticed on this on this printout here on the wall they have a chocolate flavored fried pie. So if they're known for chocolate gravy and fried pies, they're also known for deviled eggs. And I make some really good deviled eggs. So if I'm ever in Arkansas, the heck was that? Thank you for that uh, follow there. I guess it's just been so long since uh, somebody subbed or followed. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess it's this, the... Uh... O underscore T underscore underscore. Said. It's just a single bro. Uh, no, they have a few new, they have new music that came out within the last, uh, year. Um, I can't play it here. They said I, I, I'd be able to play the, uh, older oh, music on my stream, but not from their score. new album. That's it. Oh, okay. But, um, what I do play here on these teaching streams is I do play the state song. And I actually have an agreement with each state. Uh, where they're going to let me uh, play the state song and we share uh, revenue Diamond. on YouTube. Sit. But, uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, uh, click comments. the thumbs up and also click the subscribe because I'm trying to uh, get out of the old uh, crowd that I somehow got involved with. And I really would like some, I, I, I do have some really great viewers and some really great people in this class, uh, but I really am trying to uh, spread out and get away from this particular uh, Hello. Group. Hey, Nico. Oh, Aloha. I was thinking about you uh, today. Hope you're well. Sit. Sorry to ask. Is Britain okay? Um, I really haven't spoken to him uh, almost all year, uh, OT. I think he was here in February or March, and then uh, maybe early. Uh, I haven't seen to talk to him since uh, probably uh, April, May. I talked to him on my birthday, I guess, in September. Sad face. But, you know, uh, he's a grown man. Um, you know, it's not my responsibility. And, uh, you know, I, I helped him as much as I could. And I did help him a lot. Uh, you know, try to shape uh, the person uh, that he wants to become. Or no, maybe prevent any possible Sit. violent activities he may have. Do you have Taco Bell done. in Hawaii? Yes, we have Taco Bell here. Underscore, it's underscore. not that good, though, really. Sit. I know you did. There's only a couple cop Taco Bells here. <clears throat> There's not one near here. So if I ever get Taco Bell delivered, they have to drive like an hour and a half. Was Jay Thiemer made? Did. You never want How about Taco Del Taco? Taco? No, there's no Del Taco. I've only had that once when I was driving through California. And when, oh no, when I was living in my car in Las Vegas in 2011. Yeah, and the, the, the New Year's Eve, the week before New Year's Eve in 2011 to 2012, I had Del Taco for the one time in my life. Um, after that, I uh, worked at a 7-Eleven uh, in Reno, Nevada, and there was a Carl's Jr. right next to it, and there was a Del Taco, but I never went to the Del Taco when I worked at the 7-Eleven. Uh, and then I saw a Del Taco when I was in uh, California with my brother, and I suggested that uh, we stop or something. I said they have cheap tacos, but he had like a loaf of bread and a thing of bologna. And we were living off that with his cat traveling in a car. And that litter box was the ground. But he ate the 804. But that's what so I learned. You can camp with a cat. Only taco chain I've had beside Taco Bell was Lord John's. And I don't know if those still exist. There's no Chipotle in Hawaii either. Uh, they just opened the very first Olive Garden, and I remember I used to go to Olive Garden all the time uh, with my uh, second girlfriend Stream in my elements. 20s, Lisa. Tip. She was a vegetarian that really loved Olive Check Garden. Out. The all you can eat breadsticks and such. Uh, but in Hawaii, it's a lot different. Uh, you guys want to know? I spent $50 of Popeye's chicken earlier today. You're looking healthy. Thank you. Respect. Thank you. I just uh, shouted. I should shave. 
I, I, I went on a really long walk today. I walked like two miles to the closest Popeye's chicken, which just recently opened up in Hawaii within the last couple of years. And uh, I actually spent, uh, I thought I spent $40 on chicken and the receipt said $40. But when I went and checked my card, it said $50. And I did use a coupon. Chris J. Themer made. But I'm wondering, so, you know. That is good to walk. I'm wondering if I should complain or not. What do you think, Mrs. J? Before we get on, on to Arkansas, you know, we're talking about food. So I went to Popeye's Chicken. I, I, I bought a large amount of chicken with a coupon. And the total was 41 something after tax. And then I go home and I look on my card. And my card was charged $50. So what, is, what do you guys think? To, it's over and done with. Probably won't get money back. I know, but it's odd that it says 41 on my receipts. And then when I check the card online, uh, it says minus 50. So I was wondering if anybody was aware of, like, since I used the coupon, does it take a while for them to initiate the coupon into the transaction? Maybe Cody knows something about this. Cody or Mrs. J or OT or Uncle Meat or Dave London. Shout out to everybody watching on this Friday afternoon. Mrs. J. Themer made. Said, oh, you have proof. Yeah. Ultron. My receipt. It may just be a pending charge, and then the final cost will reflect the receipt. Yeah, that was the that's what I was wondering. Tip. Was it tip? No. I didn't, unless they tip themselves. But that's a pretty large tip. That's like a, uh, uh, that's all about a 20% tip, right? That's an 18% tip. Well, 18% isn't that bad. Squeaky wheel gets the oil. I guess... If you don't say anything, they yoink do. I guess a 18% tip isn't that bad. That's exactly how much it is. The total that was supposed to be $41, I was charged $50. So that means I was charged $9. At $9 of... Uh, well, $9 of $40 is uh, 25%. You can send Mr. Uh, but anyways, let's get back before, before we get off, this, off of uh, topic. Hey Google, turn it up a little bit. Honolulu, Hawaii, nine I'm going to need some uh, water here. Uh, MR underscore Nicotino 3. Hey Nico. Okay, what did Nico say? So, uh, starting off with uh, Arkansas here. Um, I think Detroit, Michigan said he was homeless under a bridge in Arkansas. Uh, maybe it was this bridge. This is a famous uh, Arkansas bridge. Um, I actually don't really know the name of this bridge. I was too busy uh, today going and getting uh, chicken. And I didn't get the time to place the name on this particular slide. Uh, I do have other bridges here. Uh, this is Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, Google, turn it up, volume five. Chris J. Thiemer. Hey, Google. Sit. Volume three. Very industrial. So this is the biggest city in the, the state of Arkansas, Little Sit. Rock. Jay it's Mark just under 200,000 people. Los Angeles. It's just under 200,000 people. Uh, it's the capital um, of Little Rock. I mean, it's the capital of Arkansas. Um, Arkansas does not have very many cities. This is the largest city and the capital, Little Rock. Um, and then there's Fayetteville, which has only 86,000 people, and Hot Springs in the northeast part of the state with only 37,000 people. So, wow, when you add up those three largest cities, that's barely 300,000, guys. Well, what's the population of Arkansas? It can't be much more than that, right? Negative. The population of Arkansas Dream elements. is 3 million. The new merch is here, Pop Champ. Check it out. 3 million. So, what does that tell you guys? What does that tell you about the great state of Arkansas? Hmm? Well, I can tell you what it tells me. 
Well, it tells me that Arkansas has many, many, many small towns throughout the area. There's not a lot of wide open spaces. It's a relatively small state. West of the Mississippi, there's only two states smaller than it. One of them is Hawaii. I don't remember the other one, but it's a small state. Whatever it is, it's smaller than Arkansas. There's some small state west of the Mississippi. If, I, if we want to stop and think about it, we can freaking figure it out. What state west of the Mississippi is smaller than Arkansas? Sid, are you going to talk about Barry Seal and Mina, Arkansas? I could... I don't know what that is. So, so. Help Mr. G with a donation through Stream Elements. HTTPS colon slash slash streamelements.com slash What were we talking about? Oh yeah. There, there, there's, I think there's one state that's smaller than Arkansas other than Hawaii, west of the Mississippi. Washington's pretty small, right? It's a lot smaller than Oregon. Who cares? Well, <laughs> it's, Google doesn't know that either. Hey Google. Volume 8. Hey Google, what are the smallest states west of the Mississippi? I found three on the website funtrivia.com. What U.S. state is the smallest west of the Mississippi River? Tapestry 6. Answer has six votes. Currently best answer. Tapestry 6. Point six year member. Point three nine one replies. Namrusna. Answer has four votes. What? Namrusna. Point one two seven replies. Answer has four votes. Hawaii, eighth smallest state. And Mira Jane. Answer has zero votes. Mira Jane. Point three zero one replies. Answer has zero votes. Mar underscore nicotino three. Oh well, that wasn't Super. very fucking helpful. Didn't you have a mod from Arkansas? I forgot his name. Super Rovers from Arkansas. Also known as Mark. Sid. He's Sid. a uh, roofer, but he's uh, apparently busy today. Sid. I am not Joe Sean. I'm sorry, Cody. I, I I I didn't know if you would have caught that. I I didn't I didn't mean to call you Joe Sean. Joe Sean is not here. Two children who witnessed them unloading. This is all factual. Mr. What are you talking about? There you go, Mark. Wow, that's crazy, Cody. They, they made a movie about him with Tom Cruise, too. Cody gets the bell. Cody gets the bell. I got a bell. All right, uh, Google. Volume two, please. Cody 8804. Sid. Yes, American Beat was the movie. MR underscore Nicotino 3. So, Sid. class. I like your bell. I like your bell, too. I'd like to Sid. ring your bell, Nico. Bell. How's Sid. that for some student teeter teacher interaction, huh? Against the dunce hat. Huh, Nico? Hey. Hey, Google. Turn it down a little bit. I'm trying to sexually harass a student. Just I don't understand. Just kidding. It was a joke. Just kidding, Nico. Mark underscore Nicotino three. Sit. Whoa, dear. Shut up. underscore Nicotino three. Sit. Hey, Google. MRG. Turn it down. It's just a joke. Today, class, we're going to learn about the state Arkansas. And you want to pronounce it correctly or... You can risk prison time. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. Face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. No joke. If you pronounce the name Arkansas incorrectly, you can go to jail. It's a law. It's enforced. It's on the books. It's not going anywhere. But if you want to know how to spell Arkansas, just remember AR, which is the abbreviation, and then Kansas. If you know how to spell Kansas... Exactly, Mrs. J. She knows. She knows. She knows. R. Kansas.
But don't spell it like R. Kansas. R A R Kansas. Arkansas. Now say it with me, guys. Arkansas. Arkansas. R Kansas. R Kansas. R Kansas. Hey, say it correctly. Remember. Hey Google, volume two. R underscore nicotino three. Zip. Barking saw. Hey Google, Where's volume three. Me? Zip. Barking saw. <laughs> Night with. Zip. Good, Mrs. J. Good job. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170 New Wanu Avenue, Po Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. So, uh, Omar just. Underscore Nicotino 3. Let's go over some. Uh, Zip. Barking saws. Barking sauce. Barking woof woof sauce. Barking sauce. Barking woof woof sauce. Barking sauce. What's the capital of barking sauce? Little Barking Arkansas. All right. Anyways, uh, let's learn some uh, fun facts, guys. It's time for fucking for. I won't curse. I'll try not to. It's time for. Fun, I want to curse. It's time for mother effing facts. Facts, just facts. So, uh, the region that Arkansas is located is the southeast. The capital of Arkansas is Little Rock. Its nickname is the Natural State. It used to have the nickname the Bear State. But Zip. they changed the nickname. Bill Clinton released a lot of chuckers in Arkansas. Bill Clinton. Ugh. Uh, you don't want to know the next word. We'll, we'll try to try to keep his name out of this lecture, I think, is the best. Uh, so I don't go off on a tangent. Um, but um, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Uh, oh, yes. The state nickname is the natural state. Now, Arkansas used to have another nickname. Its old nickname was the Bear State. And Bear Bryant, famous University of Oklahoma, or University of Alabama head football coach, is also from Arkansas. Unrelated. Um, Arkansas used to be known as the Bear State, but they had to change the nickname to the Natural State. Does anybody know why? Anybody? Cody? Mrs. J? Nico? Dave London? No? They had to change the name from the natural state to the bear state because they murdered all of the bears. Fun fact, Alaska, the fuck does it say Alaska? All right. Well, it's called the, the nickname, the natural state, because it has natural beauty, clear lakes, and abundant wildlife, minus the bears. That's it. LOL, don't want to talk about Bill Clinton's special plane rides, airplane child. So, more about uh, our, the great state of Arkansas. The population of Arkansas is just about 2.5 million. Actually, this is an old slide. Uh, the population of Arkansas is about 3 million. Uh, the capital city is Little Rock. The nickname is Land of Opportunity. That's the first. Uh, its largest city is also Little Rock. Uh, the climate um, is a moderate 29 degrees to 92 degrees. So, you know, there are hotter areas and definitely colder areas in the United States. Interesting fact, um, Arkansas has the only major diamond field in the United States. And we'll cover that in uh, just a moment here. I could. Zip. Help Mr. G with the donation through Stream Elements. You see, uh, the crater of slash Diamond, slash slash craters at Diamond State Park, is the only active slash mine slash in the United States. And uh, they say uh, you can visit this state park and pay a nominal fee. And any diamonds that you find, you are allowed to keep. 
And it was actually the only active diamond mine in the United States up until a few years ago when diamonds were uh, discovered in the state of Montana. Shout out to Nessa. And a state of, what was it, Colorado. Colorado as well. Shout out to everybody watching on YouTube too. Uh, shout out to Lita Cat. So if you're wondering about the name Arkansas, it actually comes from a French interpretation of the native tribe that originally lived in the area. So that was the way that the French people pronounced the Native American tribe that lived in the area. Some more fun facts about Arkansas. The state song is called Arkansas. Popular food is fried okra. It's the 32nd most popular state. Like I said, only 3 million people live there. 2.9 according to this mo model. The state bird is the mockingbird. The state nut is the pecan. The state flower is the apple blossom. Mr. underscore Nicotino 3. Tip. Oh, you're live on YouTube too. Am I? I don't think I am, uh, Nico. No, no, no. I oh, oh you were asking, wondering about that. No, I just re-upload this uh, these onto YouTube, Nico. So a little bit more fun history about Arkansas. Tip. No. He just uploads the stream later. Yes, immediately after this is done, I upload the stream onto YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for your view. Uh, leave a comment on what you think about Arkansas in the uh, description and what you thought about the class. So uh, the Arkansas got it, got its name from the Algonquin Indians. Four, Nicotino, three. So and the way the French people pronounced it sounded like Arkansas. So as you can say, the, see the uh, the Algonquin Indians and the tribe Akansa, Akansa, A K A N S A, or people of the South Wind. Was Jay Themer made? Said, I had a cat named Algonquian. Oh, interesting. Body eighty eight. The French pronounced it with an R Z. and added an S to make Body it Creek. I think I watched the horror movie about that. Crater of Diamond State Park is the world's only diamond-bearing site open to the public. A 23-carat diamond was once found on its ground since 1924. Magnolia is the home to the world's largest barbecue grill. It is believed that Boggy Creek Monster, a southern version of Bigfoot, lives near Fook, Arkansas. The creature is said to be 7 feet tall and very hairy. Sounds like my Uncle Lemus. <laughs> Famous singer Johnny Cash, born in Kingsland, Arkansas, was one of the most influential American musicians of the 20th century. Interesting stuff, huh? We're learning all about Arkansas, aren't we? Well, let's take a look at the Arkansas state flag and learn some more Green. facts. Said, Johnny Cash, great singer. So, uh, this is the Arkansas state flag, and a fun fact is since the 1830s, the area now known as Hot Springs National Park has bathed notables as diverse as Franklin Roosevelt, Babe Ruth, and Al Capone. The park is entirely surrounded by the city of Hot Springs, the boyhood home of some scumbag. So, let's see if Google knows anything about Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hey, Google. Volume 9. Hey Google, tell me about Hot Springs, Arkansas. Here is some information about Hot Springs. Hot Springs is a city in the Washita Mountains of Arkansas. It's known for naturally heated springs, many of them in Hot Springs National Park to the north. Bathhouse Row has eight bathhouses from the 19th and 20th centuries. These include Buckstaff oh, yeah, Baths with thermal oh, baths. The elaborate, Zip. stained glass and marble Dolly Fordyce bathhouse has a lobby fountain and houses the park's visitor's center and museum. So when did Arkansas become a state? Hey Google, volume two. Well, uh, Arkansas became state in uh, June 15th, 1856. 
people from Arkansas are known as Arkansans. The state bird is the Kill northern the ostriches, mate, and the other one bird. His guts open. The state flower is the apple blossom. And the state tree Check. is the lelabelly pine. One thousand eight hundred and thirty-six. Well, what does a mockingbird look like? Mr. Underscore Nico. That's what a freaking mockingbird looks Check. like. Oh wow. Well, what does their state flower look like? You mean the apple blossom? Yeah, the apple blossom. The state flower of Arkansas. That's what the apple blossom looks like. Oh, well, that's a drawing. I want to know what the real apple blossom look like. All right, you fucking son of a bitch. How you like them apple you blossoms? Huh? Lock yeah. How you like them apple blossoms? There's a real one for you. Oh, I like those apple. Get out of my class. Okay. Where did this kid come from? Get out of here. So that's an apple boss. Where's Jay Beamer made? That's it. Pretty. Um, Arkansas, you know, going through it, uh, it is a very pretty state. If I was going to, uh, you know, take a honeymoon with my naturalist girlfriend, which, you know, does not exist, I would, uh, you know, think of Arkansas as a place to go for us to go on our honeymoon, which I wouldn't want to go on anyways. So, um, well, uh, let's learn a little bit more about Arkansas. Let's do uh, one more. S well, you know what I want to know about? I want to know about the University of Arkansas. Apple bottom. Can we learn about the University of Arkansas? Oh, you mean the Arkansas Razorbacks? Yeah, I want to know about them. Okay, I guess so. So you can use better English. Well, uh, the University of Arkansas is, you know, by far the top Green school Elvis. in Arkansas. It's so, located in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Fayetteville population is only 86,000. And there's 23,000 students enrolled at the University of Arkansas. That means one out of every four students. That means one out of every four residents of Fayetteville goes to school at University of Arkansas. Well, what are they known for? Not much. Arkansas is 45th in the United States in education, and that includes higher education. I guess you could say they're known for football. In 1991, they joined the SEC, which is the Football Powerhouse Conference of College Football. Uh, they have some real popular colors, which you'll see throughout the state, cardinal red and white, and their mascot named Tusk, is a razorback hog that you'll always see running. All right, carrying on, carrying on. Mar underscore Nicotino three. Said, principal wants to see MRG after class. What? What did I do? I don't ever want to see the fucking principal. Did I curse or something? The teachers, the principal said I was allowed to curse. Alright guys, so I put my website on the screen. Go there and go there every day. And if you ever see an ad there, click on the ad. It's for a raise. Alright. Mrs. J gets the bell. Uh, everybody could use a raise, especially old Mr. G. Mr. Underscore Nicotino Three said, "Is it graded? Is what graded?" Well, uh, now I guess we haven't really touched on the flag of Arkansas much. I'll put it in the corner and I'll uh, we'll give you guys a, a bigger look and a, a broader look, larger look in a second. Website, HTTPS colon slash slash Thank you, Mrs. J. So, uh, that's the Arkansas flag, or right here. It's also on the board here. Um, a lot of people don't like this flag. They say it's uh, bland, old-fashioned. 
Um, it reminds some people of the Confederate flag. And uh, in Arkansas history, they were a predominant force in the Civil War for the Confederacy. Uh, they became a state in uh, 1836, and they entered the Union as a slave state um, rather late, too. Uh, they supplied troops and supplies to uh, the Confederate Army during the war. There was a brief skirmish uh, there. There weren't many battles in Arkansas uh, because of its distance from uh, the majority of the population. Uh, but there were uh, a few skirmishes where the Union took over the one fort that was located there. Um, but it's just the fact that uh, they were a uh, slave state that uh, produced a large amount of cotton. Uh, that was the only economic source for the state of Arkansas. And because of that, because they didn't diversify their portfolio, uh, they put all their eggs in the proverbial basket. Arkansas was one of the most poorest and impoverished states for quite some time, up until uh, modern generations, modern the last like 50 or so years. Uh, one of which is because of the uh, uh, corporation's Walmart is located uh, in Bentonville, Arkansas. Also, Tyson Foods, located in Arkansas. Um, they uh, were able to uh, have, uh, you know, different, um, uh, you know, exports, like things like soybeans. I don't, I don't drink soy, okay? I just had a big a gallon of drink glass of regular milk. But uh, it took them a while to get off of cotton. And uh, finally, when they did... Um, it was a little too late. Extreme elements. Zip. The new merch is here. Pop jam. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot extreme elements dot com slash MRG underscore live. Okay, so some more fun facts here. Arkansas has 9,700 miles of streams and rivers. I heard they are making electricity. The state contains six national parks. One of the nicknames for Arkansas is the natural state. Arkansas means south wind in the Indian language. They have a tomato, tomato eating contest each year. Arkansas is also called the water state, I guess, because there's so many lakes, rivers, and... Uh, Hot springs. There's actually over 600,000 acres of lakes in Arkansas. And uh, the World's Duck Calling Championship is also located in Arkansas. So uh, I was looking for some of their uh, top exports. Um, it's, let's see. The uh, Arkansas River Valley. Uh, this is the uh, farming area where I said that they... Uh, you know, used to grow the primarily cotton until recent years where they uh, had to diversify. Oh, but as far as uh, Sam Walton, uh, he was from Walmart. Uh, he was from uh, Arkansas, and he opened the very first Walmart, uh, which is on the screen here. This is Walton's first Walmart. And uh, it thrived in Arkansas. Then uh, he moved on to like the early 80s, you know, more familiar look of Walmart until uh, you have the recent Walmart that everybody knows and loves. Zip. That's interesting to see. Yes. But uh, back with the flag, I told you I'd give you guys a uh, larger look of the flag. So uh, it's red, white, and blue. Um, there's 25 stars along the outside, and that's because Arkansas was the 25th state when it entered the Union. The uh, one star, I believe, is a symbol of the Confederate Army, is a Confederate of the Union, and the uh, three stars are, uh, I, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, but like I said, uh, it's a little old fashioned. It reminds a lot of people of slavery and uh, a lot of people want to uh, redo that flag. So. 
All right, we're at uh, f about 50 minutes here. Hold on a second. Mentioned my website earlier. Uh, I also put it on the bottom of the screen here. Um, I'm gonna get a glass of water. We're gonna have a brief intermission here. And um, you guys can uh, take a look at my wonderful black cat. Hey Google, volume eight. And I will be right back. I'll be here. Where's JP Mermaid? Sit. Meow. All right, guys. Hey, everybody. This is a cream puffs. You get them from uh, Costco. You don't have to cook them or anything. You just freeze them, and when you're ready to eat them, you just thaw them. They're really good. Great, Nico. I have uh, two big bags of soil. Uh, I'm gonna do some gardening right when we're done with this class. Change out these clothes and the uh, kitties. I got a lot of okra to transfer, and uh, I'm gonna plant some uh, some things for the kitties. Some catnip, uh, some more tomatoes. I have eight different kinds of peppers. Uh, I'll cut some oregano. I mean, some uh, arugula, and some lettuce, and have a little salad tonight, and uh, maybe. I'll get to try my first radishes that I've grown. I'll use my GoPro and uh, put Sit. some footage up. So check my second Four. channel, and uh, you'll Four. I'll Four. have some garden videos up there. Sit. Nice. So they'll be in uh, 8K, really high definition, and they'll be on my second channel. So Arkansas. Um, we've talked a little bit about Arkansas and its history, its history with slavery and um, some of its favorite food, its nicknames, its largest cities, um, Tyson Foods, Walmart. Thanks, Mrs. J. So if you guys want to see my gardening videos, you can do that on the channel link uh, that Mrs. J just put in there. So thank you for doing that, Mrs. J. Um, once again, uh, hey Google, volume two. We learned about chocolate gravy. What a name, right? Uh, so Arkansas, it's uh, located uh, west of the Mississippi River, right on the Mississippi River. Uh, the Ozark Mountains are in the northwest. Uh, that's what we learned about chocolate gravy is popular, the Ozark Mountains. Uh, hot springs are also in the northwest. It's known as the natural state because it has over 200,000 uh, square acres of uh, lakes and rivers and hot springs and overall natural beauty. Uh, like I said, it used to be called the Bear State, but uh, bears, the black bear, pretty much uh, went 
almost extinct in Arkansas because of, uh, you know, humans over hunting and uh, commercialization of the land, gentrification. Um, well, it's not like the bears were hanging out in the ghettos before. No, gentrification, that's not the correct word. But over uh, hunting and just uh, humans being assholes, I believe, you know, probably, uh, and loss of habitat for the bears as well. So it's not oh, known as like, the bear state state anymore. Is it? Do people eat bears? I, I imagine they do. People have probably ate every animal or bug that moves that has existed. They've ate every plant, every mushroom, every animal, and there's no reason why they didn't eat bear. Uh, there are still uh, many tribes in Africa that eat bush meat, you know, which is a combination of uh, many wild uh, animals, giraffe, lion. I don't know if they have bears in Africa, but would be surprised. Um, it was the 25th state, so right there in the middle. Uh, Arkansas, you know, it's, it's had a, a, a long-standing rivalry with Texas. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got some stereotypes to it. It's known as, uh, you know, a poor state. The state instrument is the fiddle. You know, that doesn't uh, say much. I'll show a picture of the state capital right here. This is the state capital of Arkansas. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing too, uh, too original, I would say. Oh, I found a better picture right here. This JP were made. That's it. Looks nice though. Uh, yeah, but that's that's a lot of the uh, imagery. So this is Walmart's headquarters right here, where we're looking at scenic pictures. Green elements. That's in Bentonville, Arkansas. That's it. The new merch is here, Pop Champ. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch.screamelements.com slash MRG underscore. Um, I told you there's a diamond mine. Um, Arkansas is the only active diamond mine in the United States, along with the only mine where you can mine for your own diamonds. And I actually learned that through a viewer of the program and a, a participant in the class. Uh, Super Roofer doesn't normally participate on, on Twitch. Uh, but he does on YouTube. So if you're watching this, uh, the VOD on YouTube, I know you just usually watch live stream Super Roofer. But this uh, this class is dedicated to you, Super Roofer. Mark. All right, what else? Um, the state seal of Arkansas. We haven't really gone over that. So just show a quick image of it. Now, uh, this is the point of the class where I like to go over famous people that are from Arkansas. So we're talking about Sam Walton. Here's a picture of Sam Walton. Now, Sam Walton left in his will, he specifically said that anybody that is sleeping in his car or sleeping in his truck or in his van or is in his 18 wheeler or in his RV is welcome to park overnight at any Walmart parking lot across the United States. And this was the very first thing that is written in Mr. Sam Walton's will. Now Sam Walton was a very powerful man. Some of the, the, the five of the top 10 richest people in the world have the last name of Walton, all right? So that just goes to show, guys, even if you're as powerful as Sam Walton, <clears throat> who, who, ba who said in his will that any homeless person can live in or sleep in their vehicle in the Walmart parking lot. But now, most Walmarts, if you go there, there's, there's signs posted up that say no sleeping. And Walmart, you know, that's one of the, if you're living in your car, that's one of the only safe places somebody has to go. People have written books about living memoirs, about living in their car or living in an RV at a Walmart parking lot. Millions of Americans do it, not millions, but thousands of Americans do it every day. And it goes to show if somebody that was a multi-billionaire like Sam Walton didn't get his way, then what chance do you or me have? Somebody else from Arkansas right here 
Billy Bob Thornton is from Arkansas. And everybody knows uh, he notoriously admitted to uh, drinking uh, Angelina Jolie's blood. And Angelina Jolie, in return, drank his blood too. Some sort of weird sex thing. Somebody else who is from Arkansas? Johnny Cash. That's it. What? Johnny Cash was born and raised and spent a good majority of his life in Arkansas. A lot of people don't know, but uh, Johnny Cash, he also suffered uh, from long-term nice guy syndrome. Yeah, I know. I, I was surprised to hear that, too. So, somebody else from Arkansas? Everybody uh, remembers this guy. He's from Arkansas. Clinton. Hillary. Where's Jake Beamer made? He said, hello, hell. And you know uh, Bill Clinton's famous catchphrase? It's written on the screen. All right, all right, continuing on, continuing on. Somebody else that's from Arkansas is General Douglas MacArthur, a great American hero. General Douglas MacArthur, one of the great American heroes. He led troops in battle and you know, there was one occasion where he, he, he attacked American troops. He attacked American World War I veterans. He used World War II soldiers to attack World War I veterans. General MacArthur. Somebody else from Arkansas. Scotty, the sidekick. Poppins. Poppins. Famous basketball player, played uh, on the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson and Scotty Poppins. Two famous basketball players. I think they won uh, six straight NCAA championships. Poppins, L U L. And uh, they also won uh, a few Super Bowls. Said Mary Poppins. Also, um, this guy. This guy is from Arkansas. He's a writer. I think his name is uh, John Grisham. But, uh, What's Jake Beamer made? Looks like an asshole, Said. huh? Trash. <laughs> Boogie 8804. Said. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Exactly what I was thinking, Cody. Loser. What was that? <clears throat> so, those are famous people from Arkansas. I hope uh, you guys learned something there. More than just uh, Mr. G is an asshole. But uh, maybe you learned something else, too. All right, carrying on. So it's been a really fun week. Seriously, seriously, zoo. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, seriously, seriously. Why so seriously? No. All right, it's been a fun week. Jake Beamer made. Said, I learned a lot about the AR ten set. Okay, uh, no, seriously, seriously. It's been a fun week. Hula dance, hula dance, hula dance, hula dance. Where's Jake Beamer made? Sit. The only active diamond mine. Come on, guys, it's Friday. We gotta loosen up. Tomorrow underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. No, no, no. Woo! Yeah! Hey, Google. Play some 1980s uh, rock music. Woo! It's the 80s!
Mr. G, the red nose reindeer, had a little wang of love. La 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 Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Go the ADA, go for it. Zip. Google doesn't listen to you. And hey, Google, volume 9. Zip. Do you ever want to know? Go the ADA, go for it. I'm fishing. Hey Google, pause. All right, we gotta continue with Arkansas here. I don't want to get uh, copyright. So, uh, like I'm sharing the proceeds with each state. All right, so that was a little fun. We had a little Friday fun. Whoa. You can send Mr. How was that? Moses and the audio packages to 1170 New Wanham Avenue, Pro Box 37305. One of the cats is in the cabinets. I think Lucky ran in the cabinets and knocked it over a bunch of shit. But, anyways, uh, Lucky got scared and ran in the cabinets. He's like, I'm going in here. Zip. Great class. Fun times. Thanks, Mrs. J. Elements. Set. The new merch is here, Pot Champ. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot s stream elements dot com slash. So, uh, yeah, it was a fun class. If you're watching this on YouTube, we do this Monday through Friday at 2 o'clock Hawaii time. We're going to move that back an hour. So, if you're used to watching me now, it's going to be an hour earlier at 1 o'clock Hawaii time. So, if you're in California, that's three o'clock live, Zip. and if you're in the East I'll Coast, it's six o'clock. All right, so H that's where we're aiming at now. Slash, slash, so it's gonna, we're going to be live all next week, slash, Monday through Friday, at six p.m. East Coast and three p.m. West Coast. So from three to two to now one. Exactly, Mrs. J. She knows. And uh, that's a very uh, wise thing Zip. for me to be doing, uh, being At here in Hawaii. Hawaii. It's still early here in Hawaii. It's still, uh, it's not even 3 o'clock in Hawaii. It's barely 3 o'clock in Hawaii. So, you know, I do wake up early, which is, is beneficial to uh, being in Hawaii if you have a, a national audience. Uh, because like I said, when it's 3 o'clock in Hawaii, like it is now, it's already 9 o'clock, or excuse me, 8 o'clock on the East Coast. So we're trying to get it back as early as possible. Once we get to uh, 2 o'clock West Coast time and 5 o'clock East Coast time, I think I'll leave it at that. So we won't... We won't. What's next week's days? Well, uh, next week's states, let's go ahead and check out the map, Cody. So... We can color in Arkansas here. All right. Did Oklahoma yesterday. Everybody see okay? We did Oklahoma yesterday, so I'm going to outline that. I never knew Oklahoma was so small. In Arkansas, and Louisiana is so small too. Louisiana is smaller than Arkansas. Look how small Louisiana is. And then Arkansas just stops right there. So to answer your question, Cody, next week uh, we're going to be doing, I'll go ahead and outline up, we're Monday, we're going to be doing the great state of Missouri. And then Tuesday, we're going to do Iowa. 
Then Wednesday, Minnesota, pretty big Minnesota. Thursday, we're going to hit up Milwaukee. And Friday, we'll hit up beautiful Illinois, right along the Ohio and Mississippi River. <clears throat> so, uh, that's where we're going to be at next week. After that, the week after that, we'll do Kentucky. We'll do Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. Then we'll move uh, over to Georgia, or Florida, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, New Jersey, New York. Massachusetts, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island. And so we'll be done probably about six weeks, I'd say. And well, we could figure it out exactly if we wanted to. Because one thing for sure is you can count on me. You can count on Mr. G. And you can count on that I will be here for you because. Let's face it, I'm not getting paid for this, right? Maybe I will in the future, but why am I doing this? I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing this because I enjoy teaching. I'm doing this because I enjoy learning and I enjoy teaching. And some newsflash, the best teachers, they also enjoy learning. And guess what? By the end of the semester, after we're done covering all 50 states, I will have a much stronger knowledge of every state in the United States. And so will you too. So if the category in Jeopardy ever comes up, U.S. states, guess what? U.S. states for 2,000, daily double, all of it, right? And it's just good to know. This is really good, helpful knowledge. Uh, being in Hawaii and uh, working in different industries like sales or farming and traveling around, you meet people from the United States. The United States is one of the largest countries in the world. It has the largest economy in the world. So you're going to meet people from different areas. Thanks. Personally, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mrs. J. I enjoy doing it. Thank you. Uh, personally, I, I don't actually plan to visit a lot of these places. I don't plan on going to Louisiana. I don't ever plan on uh, going to uh, Arkansas even, really. Uh, however, uh, I do plan on meeting people from Arkansas and meeting people from Louisiana. And I can talk about things from there, and I know things about there from there. I'm not ignorant. You know, it's, it's never good to be ignorant. Knowledge is power. You know, uh, you know, I went to the University of Texas, and uh, they have the emblem, the, uh, the motto, uh, the truth will set you free. And, um, you know, uh, I think that's the most important thing in life, protecting yourself, your loved ones, and gaining uh, knowledge to be a, a more knowledgeable and insightful person. Uh, it makes you more uh, empathetic towards other people and uh, makes you more understanding uh, to what somebody else is going to, might be going through and putting yourself in their shoes. Because if you're ignorant, that's exactly the opposite. That means you're not putting yourself in their, in your, their shoes. When you're empathetic, you're you're, you're not putting yourself in their shoes. You're not, uh, you know, operating by the golden rule, right? All right, so with that being said, uh, let's just say a quick prayer. Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, dear God, thank you for everything you've given us. Uh, please watch over everybody in the sin. Thank you for this opportunity to give this class. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to take care of as many uh, CATs as I do. Uh, thank you for everything you've given me. And uh, help this classroom and this Twitch stream grow. Uh, watch everybody in the chat. Protect us all. And uh, help us grow as people and uh, promote goodness and the eternal battle between good and evil. Uh, thank you for everything you've given us. A uh, special shout out to Super Super Roofer. Everybody, a uh, special shout out to Wyatt. And uh, yeah, uh, class is uh, dismissed. We're gonna end on, uh, class is dismissed. We're gonna end on uh, the uh, state song of Arkansas. And we'll have another class on Monday. Also this weekend, I'm gonna be reading uh, my book live from the classroom here. 
So there's no class this weekend, but there will be sporadic uh, IRL live streams from me and also uh, live from this classroom. I might go and get a uh, $15 milkshake tomorrow. So you might want to check that out on my YouTube channel for see Mr. G get a $15 milkshake. It'll be in the title too. So I'll talk to you guys later and I'm going to put on the Arkansas State song. It's called Arkansas. And if you want to see a really good YouTube video, check out uh, Racist City in Arkansas. But here's the Ar most, uh, here's the uh, Arkansas State song. Everybody have a good weekend if I don't see you this weekend. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Aloha, everybody. I fell in love there And the fire's still burning A flame that never will die Moonlight dancing On the Delta living To a band of frogs and whippoorwills I lost my heart there one July evening, and it's still there, I can tell. Oh, I may wonder what will I do. I will never be far from you. Everybody, thanks for the class. Everybody have a nice night. Have a good weekend. Aloha.